So I'm thinking about my decision to not have sex with a woman anymore in life. I will not have romance with a woman in life. And um, I'm wondering about this because it is a, a big decision. It is a strange decision as well, I imagine. And it's made me wonder, for example, if it is at all possible for a man to have sex with a woman and be sure that the woman will not claim that the sex was not wanted and that he was essentially a rapist. And as I see here at the moment, I don't think it's possible for a man to have sex with a woman without the risk, without the possibility that the woman claimed the sex was not wanted. I really don't think it is possible for a man to have sex with a woman and be safe from that risk. Now I know the risk is incredibly unlikely in normal circumstances, but that's not the point of what I'm saying. The point is, it is a possibility. And I'm thinking that this is why marriage was invented as a ceremony. I think it was invented to ensure that the man could have sex with the woman and never be accused of acting improperly or being a rapist. The marriage is proof that the woman wants to be with the man romantically and so the man could rest assured that he can never be accused of being a rapist. So I am thinking that that may be the principal reason why marriage was invented. I could be wrong, but this is my first thought on the matter. And that's what I'm thinking for now. Marriage is proof for a man to use that any sex he had with a woman was desired and was not imposed upon her. Because it does seem to me that there's no way for a man to have sex with a woman without risking being accused of being a rapist. Because it seems as if sex is seen as something that the man does to a woman. A woman doesn't do sex to a man. The sex appears to be viewed by society as being one way of a man to a woman and the woman is passive and the man is the aggressor, a man is the dominant party and the woman is just a receptacle. A woman is not seen as being an agent in the process. A woman is seen as being the objective and men are the initiators and the ones in control. And the woman is essentially a victim. She is passive. I don't think this is the way sex works, but it is the way that society uses the act of sex. Sex is something that men do to women. A woman is seen as being passive and the man is the agent. I think this is an insane reality for, for men and it does seem to me that a man is always at risk of being accused of acting improperly and being essentially a rapist if a woman chooses to say that he's a rapist. I suppose that this can happen within a marriage as well, but the marriage keeps the man safe from legal consequences of acting improperly regarding sex. The marriage ensures that the man cannot be claimed to be a rapist. And I'm thinking this is maybe possibly the principal reason why marriage was invented. There are so many things that marriage changes and accomplishes 
in a relationship between a man and a woman. But I think one of the principal aims is to guarantee that the man cannot be accused of being a rapist. And a woman is seen as being passive. And the man is always responsible for any sex that happens. 